Hey, what is up, everybody? It is No One Shot Current back at you with another Star Trek Fleet Command video today. We're going to talk about officers. We're at the end of 2020, and let's make this a what officer should you focus on for each group of uh, officers there is. But before we get into that, remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe, hit that bell notification down below. Remember to join my Discord if you hit that see more button, click that, join the Discord, be awesome, not like you already are, but just join up. Below that is a donation link if you like what my content brings. Go down there, click it, hit the donate, help me out. And if you want to help the channel on a monthly basis, you go down below, go hit that join button. It's either two, five, or ten, or twenty dollars a month. However you like to help the channel out, click that button, become a member, and remember to link your Discord to your YouTube to your Discord so you can get that green special highlight in my Discord. All right, let's get into the video. So now we are looking at groups of officers. We're gonna go each group by group. In my opinion. What is officer you should work on and what officer you should avoid? So, off the bat, Spock and Kirk are paramount officers in this game. You cannot really do much out of this game without morale. Morale is one of the best ones out there. Backups would be uh, Uhura and Bones, but those are stat officers in my opinion. People have made crews that work for them, but they're not my favorite. Now let's go to Klingons down below. So we have Gorkin, Chang, Kurla, and Asper. These are ones you want to work on, but you want Kirk and Spock the most. These are ones you can work on. Good stat officers, good abilities, good hands down officer for hull breach officers or crit chance officers. Really good for them. And now we're in the, these are not my favorite officers. Romulans haven't got much love in this game. M not much love whatsoever. Cause Nero's ability, it doesn't work so well, even at max. And then you always want Levis, Vermin and Kumak. These are just in case officers where you can use for burning when you actually start getting Giorgio, where it actually creates burning well and actually works well at that point because Giorgio's made it a, a big difference again. Now we're down to Mara, Kang, and Krell. Kang is gonna be one of those ones, of course. So if you look at Kang, his main ability is Darth Master, 8% chance of hull breach, that's good alone. And his other ability is increases accuracy, which is good, don't, I can never remember what accuracy does these days. Krell, He's an anti-fed officer. He's going to be good no matter what if you're going against Federation. You can cause some major damage to them. Mara. So you have her secondary ability. It's a hull breach, which works off Krell. And then when uh, Lorca comes in, she'll probably work good with him. Or if you have him yet. And we have, we go down further. Kiron is one of those officers that we want, but we don't have. Now we go down to Charvenik's team, which are the Romulan Patriots. Ro She's a great one to have on a auger or any battleship because if you're going against a Enterprise, she's what you want because she'll tear right through a lot of things. And then we have Tal. No one has him because he was only limited for a 20 minute event back in last December. And I grabbed him when he was during that. We have Merrick. We have Decius. Decius is paramount and he is one you want to grab. That is a definite. Merrick. Another anti-federation anti officer, which is good if you want, you're going against federation. We have service, which I don't remember if he was available then. We have Dejoki, he's a good officer. Lenar, not so much. Now we come down to my favorite sets of officers. Zhao, Harrison, Yuki, Marcus. Hands down, great officers. Marcus, once you level him up, he will pierce right through an Enterprise's heart. And, or any real explorer. You have Yuki, which she takes on shields every... Uh, is it 10% each round or is it 5%? 10% each round. So once the 10 rounds are over, then you're doing pure damage to the hull. And then we have Harrison. Harrison, hands down, one of the best officers to have in this game for the new ships, interceptors. It's just that straight hull damage. And Zhao. Zhao is one of my favorite officers since he came out. Zhao came out last December as well. And he is great for mitigation. He is just a great officer to have. He's another one you would want to work for since you're going to have Marcus, Zhao, and Kirk. Good combinations. Then we come down to Hadley, Darwin, Handoff, Moreau, and Pike. There's not much I can say about Moreau, Han or not Moreau, Handoff, Darwin, or Hadley because I don't use them that often. But I do have this guy that I snagged from Discord, or I mean YouTube. Or YouTube, I mean Facebook. So if we zoom in, here's crews that you guys can take a picture of or I'll post it in my Discord where you can see what crew combinations will help you guys out in these battles to come for just these base ones. And we click on the next one. Here's another one. Here's another quick reference guide for Swarm so you guys can see which officers to use. And this will go down. As you can see, there is 
Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So we have Moreau Talon, Cadet. Here's the Cadet crew, which you're going to want to frequently look at to know which one it is when you're starting up. I'll post it in my Discord. Down in my Discord, you'll see it there. Let's go back to the game. Boom, back to the game at hand. So our next ones are your mining officers, which all mining officers are needed. Those are what you want to work on, and that's a definite. Then we get down to the next stat. We got Mitchell, Carol, Kinzer, 718, Zahara. Carol's the only one, in my opinion, that you would want to work for. Mark Mitchell is one of those long run officers because he can do some good crits. And then now we get down to augments. Most augments aren't the greatest, but if you can get base level of Pan, Navi, and Rima, those are your speed crew to make most ships speed up faster, D4s to speed up, Rialtos to start moving, stuff like that. And then one of my favorite hands on officers that you always need to work for is Khan because every time your ship gets hit, Khan gives you a, a bigger chance of getting a crit critical hit each time you get it, and it stacks. And he's one of the first ones I actually was able to unlock to max get the max shards. Get the max. I would be able to get the max shards to get him to interesting to get him to the max level. I thought I had enough shards to get him max up. Guess not. But he's. I think it was Mara was the one then. Mara was the one I was able to do the Swarm Sundays and able to get her maxed out. So I started getting transport shards. Khan was one of those ones. Is always wanted to get. We got the mud stuff. I'm. I haven't really found much use for any of these mud officers. Then we have the cadet officers. Like I said, your cadet officers are always going to be Chen, Talon. No, these aren't cadet. Or what are they called again? Starfleet Academy. So cadet Ted, uh, Chen and Talon are really good for your hostile hunting. Like I showed you earlier, they were all in those diagrams. I will post them on my Discord. Then we go down to these ones. I haven't really had much use besides Kali. He's another speed officer. Uh, Cross you can work for him but he's an under deck officer in my opinion i haven't really found any great use in all these cadets here we have cadet uhura cadet kirk scotty uh spock those are all definites those are ones you want to get even at lower levels because they help you or they help you with the secondary crew when you need to start doing two crews for doing stuff like that so now we're into the borg the borg was released a little bit ago and the officers i love personally are five of ten ten of ten 7 of 10 is a good one, and then I think it was 9 of 10. Those are all good ones to invest into. You just have to know what you're going for. 5 of 10 and 10 of 10 are probably my favorite Borgs in the game. You have 10 of 10, which, or 5 of 10, which gives her mitigation ability, which is awesome. And then you have 10 of 10, which speeds up mining in general, which is awesome. Now we're done to our newest ones, Discovery. What officers in Discovery should you work for? What would you want for your ships? Let's start with Giorgio. Giorgio is pivotal now in this game to get better burning ability to work correctly because Giorgio makes it work she actually makes the auger amazing just flat out she makes the auger amazing then we have Tyler he has potential I haven't really seen much on it yet but he has potential then we have Stamets which if you have a discovery discovery is a great support ship in this game when you have Stamets and Cobra, or Cobra on it, your summoning gets cheaper, which is awesome. Then we have Saru. Saru is a great anti-con officer because his ability alone, da, 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 this one right here. So when fighting players, every time your ship gets hit by a critical, Saru decreases your critical, the critical chance of your opponent. It basically negates con. So, and then we have Burnham. I'm not really a fan of Burnham. Emperor Giorgio, you got another when attacking during a takeover man she's a takeover officer and then we have cadet tilly which i do like her secondary ability at the start of each round your opponent has a hole breach it just helps you out and then her main one is just i don't know capture node that's whatever to me but when you have Lorca and then tilly that's going to be a combination and i want to talk about transporter shards when you have officers max shards then you start occurring Transporter shards, transporter patterns, whatever you want to call them. And they're in the recruit tab. And you'll have Kirk in there, Gorkin, Nero, Kang, Charvenik, Marcus, Christopher Pike, Carol, Gary Mitchell, Khan, 6 of 10, Cross. So which one should you focus on? If you don't have Pike and you have access to transporter shards, get your Pike up there. If you have Pike, you have access to, and you, you're starting to get more transporter shards, go for Kirk. And after that, it's going to be Marcus, then Charvenik. And if you don't have Khan, he's another one to work for. But the rest, meh, in my opinion. Transport shards are awesome. 
they help you out in the game. I wanted to go to officers like that, but the pivotal officers in this game, in my opinion, are Giorgio, Pike, Moreau, Chen, Spock, Kirk, Khan, and a few more out there that help you the greatest. You just need to focus on certain ones to level up your game. Remember, get your hostile crews up there because they're going to support you throughout the whole game. And then to get Pike, I mean, Kirk and Spock, they're going to support you mostly in Marcus too, once you can get them maxed out. That's about it, guys. Remember to like the subscribe button, the bell notification down below. Remember to join my Discord, hit that see more button, join the Discord. There's a donation link under that. Click that donation link if you want to help out the channel. Hit the donate button. And below that is the join button. Become a member. It's either two, five, ten, or twenty bucks a month. Help out the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. Alright, guys, it is no one shall signing out. Peace out. Have a wonderful day. Be positive.